Friends, do you know this MCB here also require a proper way of connection. If you do not connect this properly, then in this condition MCB will not trip. So today through this video, I am going to tell you that how you can do the connection of MCB in a proper way. Friends, here we are talking about connection. So just understand one thing that as per connection, MCB are of two types in market. First MCB is of this type in which line and load is written. If on your MCB line or load is written, then that MCB will be termed as polarized MCB. After this, there comes one more type of MCB on which there is no such type of marking. I mean you will not find line or load written anywhere. Now this type of MCB here, this is known as non-polarized MCB. Now friends, we are going to understand how we should connect the MCB. First, we will learn to do connection of polarized MCB. Here I have a MCB on which line and load is written. Now here what we will do, phase supply we have, we will connect this with load terminal. After this, second terminal here, we will connect one wire from here with the load. This way of connection is completely wrong. I mean if you do connection in this way, then your MCB will not trip. So MCB you have on which below line is written and above load is written, then in this condition, what you have to do, phase supply you have, I mean input power supply, you have to connect this with line terminal. Here line is written, so I provided input power supply here. Now here load is written, so what we will do, connect one wire from here and to the electronic equipment, we provide phase supply. So friends, if we do connection in this way, then connection of MCB will be correct. Now MCB you have on that MCB if line is written above and load is written below then in this condition what we have to do input power supply which is there we will connect this with line. Okay we have to do same thing wherever line is written we have to provide input power supply there and load terminal on MCB we connect wire with that terminal and connect with our equipment. If we do connection in this way then connection will be proper. That is, MCB will work properly. After this, if here you reverse the connection, that is, we will connect input power supply with the load terminal and by connecting wire with line terminal, if we connect load, then in this condition, our MCB will not trip. So friends, here you have to remember only one thing, where line is written, there we have to connect input power supply and where load is written, from there we take output power supply. So I hope you understood this much. Now let's move forward. Now on your MCB if there is no such kind of marking, I mean on your MCB if line or load is not written, then you can do connection in any way. For example, we are taking a MCB here. In this MCB, I am connecting input power supply below. To connect load, connect a wire from above terminal and connect with the load. In this condition also, this type of connection will be correct. After this, in the same MCB, if you reverse the connection, that is, you connect power supply directly to above terminal and with below terminal you connect the load. In this condition also MCB will work properly. It means in non-polarized MCB you can do connection in any way. Connect input power supply below or above it doesn't matter MCB will work properly. So friends here we understood two things. On our MCB if somewhere line or load is written then according to that only we have to do connection. And if on our MCB line or load is not written anywhere, then you can do the connection in any way. Here I told you the connection of MCB which works on AC power supply. Mostly the confusion arises with MCB of DC power supply. Here I have a MCB which works on DC power supply. On this MCB you can see at one terminal there is a positive symbol that is plus symbol and on other terminal there is a negative symbol that is minus symbol. This MCB we have, when doing connection of MCB, you have to be very careful. What all things to keep in mind, let's understand. If your MCB is of single pole, then you will find on one terminal positive is written and on another terminal negative is written. If on your MCB these types of symbols are there, then what you have to do, input power supply you have, from positive connect a wire and with positive of MCB that is plus terminal we connect phase supply that is positive power supply. Now load we have here to connect load what we will do MCB which we have from negative terminal connect a wire 
and to the load provide positive power supply. Friends, here negative is written. It does not mean here you have to connect negative wire only. Here you have to connect positive wire only. Now load we have here, we have to provide neutral power supply to this also. So here we will connect neutral power supply directly with the load. This was the connection of single pole MCB which works on DC. Now understand the concept here. Look, MCB we have here, if on MCB positive symbol is there, that is plus symbol is there, then it means that from here you have to enter phase supply. From this terminal phase supply will enter. After entering, from here it goes out and it returns to here. What you have to do, you have to enter positive power supply from plus terminal. After this, DC MCB we use, it comes with two pole also. Friends, DC MCB which we use, there is a symbol made on DC MCB. It is made in various types. As per the type only, we have to do connection. First of all, you can see MCB here, only on two terminals symbol is made and on two terminals symbol is not there. If on your MCB symbol is made only on two terminals then you have to do simple connection. What you have to do input power source we have take positive power supply of power source and connect with positive terminal. After this from output terminal connect a wire and with positive terminal of inverter we connect this. After this with negative terminal that is minus terminal we connect negative power supply and from output terminal we connect a wire and with negative terminal of inverter we connect this. So connection in this case is very simple. What you have to do in your power source take positive power supply and connect with positive terminal. Take negative power supply and connect with negative terminal. Ok now friends if you want to reverse the connection that is power source we have we want to keep this upper side. I mean provide input power supply on upper terminals and we want to connect load with lower terminals. In this condition you have to do connection little bit differently. Friends here in this MCB you can see power source is at upper side and load that is inverter is connected at lower side. If you want to do connection in reverse manner then what you have to do positive power supply you have you have to connect this on second terminal that is reverse the connection. You have to be careful about only one thing that current must enter from positive terminal. From here it does not get reverse. How current is entering here let's understand. Look power source we have in this from positive terminal we connected a wire with this terminal. So from here power supply will flow and goes to inverter and from here it returns through this negative wire and it goes to this positive terminal. It means current will flow from here in upper direction. Here an arrow is also drawn. It means from positive terminal power supply will enter and goes in upper direction. And it goes from here to the negative terminal. If your current enters from positive terminal then your connection is proper. Here also we did the same thing. Here current enters from positive terminal and from negative terminal it returns. Now we will talk about another type of MCB. If in your MCB upper side and lower side on both the sides symbols are made then in this condition also remember the same thing that your current should enter from positive terminal. Here is positive terminal so what I did I let current to enter from here that is from positive terminal current is entered it will flow from here and from inverter it will return to this positive terminal and from here it will return back to power source. Here also same thing is done from positive terminal current entered. So you just have to be careful about this thing only that from positive terminal power supply will enter. Doesn't matter that symbols are on upper side or lower side. From positive terminal only current must enter. Friends this DC MCB we use on this if any kind of symbol is not there then in this condition you can do the connection in any way. From anywhere current can enter and from anywhere it can return. There will be no problem. Your MCB will work properly. So friends I hope you understood how we can do proper connection of MCB. Friends if you want to know the difference between MCB and MCCB then click on the right hand side video to watch. Friends if you learned something new from this video then please do like share and comment on this video and if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.